Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more. Because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. Well, let's talk about the 12-inch Legends figures, because that is new. They kind of teased me, because they showed a slide during their presentation, and they were like, we thought about these. They showed, like, Giant Man and Goliath and Thanos. And they're like, what do all these things have in common? They're big. I'm like, oh, so they're going to make Giant Legends figures. No. Well, kind of. <laughs> they're going to make Giant Legends figures of normal-sized characters. <laughs> they're making 12-inch Legends figures, the first three of which are Captain America, Iron Man, and Spider-Man. And these are going to be highly articulated figures, like 30 points of articulation with a number of accessories and swappable heads and basically a blown up legend with far more detail and paint apps than you ever saw in the Icon series. I mean, we just got... That sounded like you memorized their marketing spiel. <laughs> Didn't it, Justin? A <laughs> little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but it sounded more shake weighty, not one of <laughs> Less chop chef and more shake weighty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we just reviewed an Icons figure because they put that giant man in that Comic-Con Ant-Man pack. And remember how horrible that figure is? Yes. Now, let me let me say this, though. Okay, here's what impresses me, is that what they've done with these first three figures is shown me that they're willing to actually do sculpting for these rather than making a generic buck like that giant man or like the Titan heroes. Right. But with the giant man, that, that buck had been reused on so many previous Hasbro 12 inch figures. And here it looks like they're, they're if they're going to do this line, they're going to do some sculpting. And when I say icons, I don't mean the Hasbro ones. I'm talking back to toy biz days when they actually oh, made okay, okay. very nice 12 inch ones. And they, that was a very successful line. And it looks like that's what Hasbro is coming back to here. So, well, maybe Hasbro tarnished the name Icon. Yeah, possibly. But and everything's a legend. <laughs> so we just have to call it Legends. <laughs> well, I and a couple other people did ask about them using this line to make a giant manor thing so that you could have some figures that were in scale with your six inch Legends. And Dwight did say the Spider-Man buck is a generic male buck. So if they wanted to do that, if they wanted to have a giant man figure or one of the big figures... That would be a buck they could go on to do that. Nice. Yeah. Poor, poor Dwight had the most awkward phrase I think I've ever heard when he referred to a little boy body buck. <laughs> I know. That's the weirdest thing I've heard since Puppy Monkey Baby. <laughs> uh, stupidest commercial, but probably the best money they've ever spent. Everybody's talking mm -hmm. about that commercial. <laughs> But I like the fact that, like, the Spider-Man's coming with three different heads. You get the full Peter Parker, you get the mask up around the nose, and then you get the full Spider-Man one. Captain America's coming with the Steve Rogers head with a removable helmet, and then the full helmeted head. You get the swappable hands. And I like the paint jobs on these quite a bit. I don't know that I need these figures. Again, oh, all the scales. shut up. Come on. We know that you're going to end up buying them. I might buy one. Right, anyway. This feels like a picky and choosy type of line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Arnie picks ones and then he chooses them. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. The packaging on them is a little bit odd because it reminds me almost like in the way the letters are and things. It's, it's almost, if I squint, like a throwback to the Toy Biz Classic Covers line. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Full window <laughs> box a little bit. Uh-huh, like if they took away the opening flap, that's what this reminds me of. Huh. Yeah, this this is this is a cool little entry, and I'll be interested to see where, where they go with this next. I mean, they kind of hit three of the biggest guys they have out there right now, <laughs> out of the gate. So it'd be, it, it'll be interesting to see if they go any deeper into other characters as this goes on. Yeah. What Dwight said, though, is Spider-Man... Even he is surprised how well they're selling. And the fact that wave after wave of Spider-Man Legends, and they sell exceptionally well, and 
at the end of the year when they ask people and you know things like the poppies happen and what's your favorite figure, what's your favorite wave, these Spider-Man figures come up again and again. So to get Spider-Man, Cap, and Iron Man out there, all right, you've got your standard three. What's next? Give me a Hulk. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at MarveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.